what what can you say about what you guys were hoping to achieve with this trailer and, and also what you can tell us about the, the any meanings behind this title reveal well the nice thing is I, I think the rise of Skywalker it doesn't answer anything. It actually, it's provocative, it asks questions, and it could mean a lot of different things. And I think that that's what was important to us. We didn't want to have a title that felt like it was telling you the story. At the same time, it needs to feel emotional, which is a challenge to try to figure out what that might be. And I think the word Skywalker, it, it captures mm -hmm all 40 years of what's gone before. It's emphatic yes. in a lot of ways. Uh, the big shocker in this trailer, of course, the reappearance of Palpatine. Uh, what can you tell us about this? How, how long was this, was this in the cards? Was this sort of in the blueprint from episode seven? This has been in the blueprint for a long time. Yeah, we, ne we had not landed on exactly how we might do that, but yes, it's always. Always to be in episode nine. Yeah. And what were the biggest challenges to, to wrapping up a saga now that's gone nine movies, 40 plus years? Oh, it's, you know, that's it. It's 40 plus years. It's, you know, time traveled, <laughs> you know, from 1977 to now, 2019. Um, Star Wars has always had a connection to what's going on in the real world and having a sense of relevance. And so that's something that with our 2019 sort of point of view, I think that's the biggest challenge is how to keep it relevant. At the same time, how do you honor what's come before? And so I think this does that. The release of a Star Wars trailer, the reveal of a title is like an, an event in itself. Obviously, you just gave thousands of people chills, millions uh, ac across the globe. Um, what can you tell us about what you were hoping to achieve with the footage that you showed us today and also, and also what the title may, may tell us about this story? Uh, well, the, the fact that, that we got to withhold the title, the fact that we hadn't released anything about the, the, the movie um, and hadn't had a, uh, any kind of trailer this far out, it, it, it's sort of amazing to me that we were able to do it. I'm, I'm grateful to everyone involved who could have easily told someone mm -hmm. or tweeted something or posted something um, and chose not to. Uh, it, it, it feels right to me and not very surprising. I say that because the entire experience of doing this movie has been working with people who seem to have the, the fans and the audience's uh, interests at heart. And uh, for that, I'm incredibly grateful. And the title, obviously, you'll, you'll have to see the movie to sort of understand um, what it means, but uh, as a film that resolves nine movies, if you look at all those stories and include this in context, uh, I think it makes a lot of sense. The big shocker of the day, Palpatine is back. People went crazy over this. Uh, what can you say about his, his, his presence in the film? I can only say that, uh, that working with Ian was, uh, was among the most wonderful experiences I've ever had. Uh, he is like a breathtakingly good actor, and... Uh, you know, it, it's. I think. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for audiences. Who cried the hardest when you guys rapped? <laughs> Who cried the hardest? Uh, I won't. I won't mention his name, but there was a certain crew member, and you know who you are, who sort of beautifully lost it in a in a great way. Boyega. It was Boyega. Great to talk I'm not to saying you. it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of it. So I think maybe besides the actual trailer and the title reveal itself, you got maybe the biggest applause out there. I think I I got I got some chills like watching you. Yeah, what was that? What's going through your head at that moment? That was amazing. Uh, I just think uh, the overlying ideal for me is like also the same thing that is sort of like in the Star Wars series. It's like love wins. And yeah. that sort of is how I felt the whole time. I was very overwhelmed by it, and I just feel very grateful to still be a part of this amazing family. Yeah, is that sort of like a restore your faith in humanity type moment, or always fandom? <laughs> oh my gosh, no, I've always been, I've, I've just always felt so much love um, coming to Celebration, and I just feel really, really happy to be here again. So. How emotional was this to the, ser the saga to wrap up for you guys? Oh, man, I think there's a lot of emotions for a lot of different people for different reasons, right? I mean, there's so many people who have been involved in this since the beginning, and not for them, I can't even imagine what that's like. But truly, we've all sort of become this family, and now that it's ending, it's like, it's a little sad, but we're still, you know, we're still going to be a family. So. Who cried the most? Um, I think there was crying for everyone. I think everyone was crying a lot. All around, all around yeah, crying. Yeah, yeah. Tears everywhere. Just constant crying. Chewbacca tears, all of it. I think you might have had my favorite line of this entire panel when you said, Lando never left me. But how, how emotional was this for you to, to reprise this role after all these years? 
Well, you know, when I watched the uh, trailer and I uh, and and I put all of the components together, you know, working with JJ and uh, working with the young people who are uh, uh, sort of taking the lead at this particular point, uh, it it's. Uh, it elicits a, a very strong emotion, you know. I, I found myself a little bit in tears, you know. So it's, a, it's you know, after all of these years, it's been, uh, it's, well, it's been with me for, like most of us. It's, it's in our lives daily. And uh, I think it's, a, there's something wonderful about it. In that trailer, we see you piloting the Millennium Falcon. It's a, it's, a, it's a brief but incredible moment. Crowd went wild. What can you tell us about getting in that iconic? Anything. Otherwise, I'll be struck by lightning. Is that how they, they, they use lightning these days? Uh, I'm just, as, uh, it's just a metaphor. It sounded like you were working out up on stage today. It sounded like you may have been working out some new chewy noises. And i got to say, they sounded a little musical. Can, oh, okay. can, you, can you do any, like actual songs in, in, in Wookiee sounds? <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. I was, I was ready to put my hand over my heart there. That was, that was, that was beautiful. I was at a baseball game. Uh, yeah. yeah. Last song I heard. <laughs> Through the first Any one. others? Um, uh, wait. Uh, no, I can't do I can't do uh, Tell Me Something Girl. No, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, well, we saw, we saw pictures of your son on, on set. Uh, what does he make of what you do for a living? I mean, he says, da, 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 and uh, <laughs> he says the Finnish word for good and what a lot. So, uh, so he's very young. No, he's very young. So probably not much. Exactly. He, he's still, I think uh, he still thinks that I'm uh, I'm ridiculous uh, because <laughs> he's gonna the, the kid is gonna grow up thinking his dad is actually a part-time Wookiee. Exactly, he's gonna think the wife. <laughs> That's gonna be his normal. Th- he, yeah, must have. Uh, yeah, uh, he's gonna. I think he's. I'm gonna show him the movies in production order, and uh, he's gonna have to make his own decisions about whether to be proud of his dad or not. Right, right. Because we, <laughs> we all gotta process things in our own way. Exactly. Um, obviously, the end of end of an era, end of the saga. Tell us about sort of what emotions you guys felt uh, on the set of this one, especially as as you guys wrapped it. I mean, uh, the the emotions were overwhelming because we've been working to, together for four, five years, five years, I believe. I, this is my fourth film, episode nine, as Chewbacca, and uh, I just couldn't be happier to 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 have had this opportunity, but also also not knowing what the future may hold, I'm going to have to look for uh, new avenues of, of uh, fulfilling my dream to be an actor. So this is going to be uh, exciting times. But the movie itself, what I couldn't wish for a better send-off to this cast and the, the, the stories of, 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 of the saga that George Lucas started because we have J.J. Abrams uh, who just uh, weaves together all these uh, stories, and, and uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna see a, a fitting uh, ending to this adventure, I'm sure. Who cried the hardest when you guys wrapped? Uh, I'm not. I I don't know. There were tears. Uh, I I, don't, I didn't count them, <laughs> but it was yeah. I was holding my baby in my arms and uh, saying goodbye to the crew, and uh, there's just great group of people up there in London, England. Very skilled crew members. Very fun cast members, and uh, I'll be sad to wish them goodbye. And uh, uh, finally, when December comes around, that will be the final farewell, I guess. Sure, it's it's tough to put into words, uh, but you know you've been there since the beginning. Nine movies now. Uh, how do you how do you re- reflect on this journey that you've been through with with this saga, forty something years later? Eleven movies. Beca- oh well, we won't count um, Solo because I wasn't three people. But also uh, in that wonderful uh, movie Rogue One, yes. Yeah, so, ten movies. Ah, oh. um, it's it's been extraordinary. It, uh, the, the, I don't think there's. I have to think if there's any other actor who's done this kind of thing, being willing, and how lucky that the costume actually hides my face, so that as. 3PO stays exactly the same facially, uh, me not so much. <laughs> it's changed over the years. And at an event like this, people can come up to me with a fan photo that taken you know, 20 years earlier and show me proudly, look, here we are 20 years ago, and I just go, oh yeah, aging, aging. 3PO doesn't age.
No, I think it's probably, uh, you, you asked if anyone else done it, I think it's probably maybe you and Hugh Jackman up there who's played yeah. Wolverine time and time yeah. again, up, up there for the lead, so we'll have, to, we'll have to look at the stats on that one. Um, did this one feel, you know, especially different, especially emotional considering it's, it's the end of the saga? Yeah, it, it did. Um, it felt... It's rude to say it felt different. The script is so remarkable on this. Chris Terrio uh, wrote it with uh, JJ, collided, collided with JJ. Um, to come up with something actually remarkable, uh, especially, I have to say, for 3PO, um, Chris seemed to get right down into the bowels of Star Wars and come up with stuff that felt so at home. You just thought, oh, this guy really knows this part of the galaxy and so on. And filming it, you have to realize the crew being where we are in uh, 2019, have all grown up watching Star Wars. They're all, they all like it, they're all fans. So going to work today was an extraordinary sign of, kind of um, club atmosphere. People all knew uh, what we were making. They all had tremendous faith in JJ and all the, all the set, first AD, Tommy. Uh, the cast know what they're doing. They, I, I knew what I was doing because I was used to 3PO, but I can only imagine the tension that these guys, people come in like Oscar and Daisy and John, and they're taking over this mantle, and it's their face on the line, you know. Mine is 3PO's face on the line, so if he screws up a bit, yeah. Yeah. not my fault. Yeah. One word we've heard a lot uh, in regards to that trailer that they debuted yeah. for the first time is chills. It gave people a lot oh, yes. of chills. Do you, ha do you have a reaction when you watch? Did you have a reaction to it today when you watched it? Uh, no, because, uh, well, actually, yes, but we watched it last night. Um, and uh, we watched it two or three times, I think. And yes, and actually, I did, did get a chill. Uh, but I realized I was leaning at the front of the stage on the, the big subwoofer speaker, so I, my whole body was vibrating with the soundtrack. It was quite an interesting experience, actually. Yeah, yeah. It sounds very visceral. Do you guys have a cast viewing party for these? Yeah, last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're very happy. And the, the difficulty about being in something like Star Wars, for 18 months periods of your life, you cannot tell anyone what you did today at work. You know, how was your day? Oh, tiring. Or uh, I got sand everywhere. That's all you can say. And now the, the secret will... Uh, be out in December, as we saw. And please don't spoil, n nobody spoil anything. What, why would you spoil people's joy? We don't like spoil it's, it's a big secret that you, a big present you're going to open on the day. Let everybody enjoy. A Christmas present, if you will. Very, not coming out in December for nothing. He's <laughs> going. Uh, so we learned something new about Poe today. He, he rocks a, a pretty sweet new scarf. Good scarf, right? Kind of, kind of hipsterish. I feel like he might fit in in Brooklyn. I, mean, I, I was thinking a little more Special Forces, but well, hipster okay. works. Okay. It's a, it's a yeah, fine line yeah, sometimes, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. The, I feel like this scarf is going to hold the secrets to the universe of you know, Star Wars. Is that where we're going? Well, when you're in the sand, you want a little something that can cover up. You know, I just yeah. for me it was very practical. Yeah. It happens to be also very sexy, but you know that's that was a. It's pretty damn stylish. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty damn stylish. Thank you, friend. Um, I, I imagine it had to be so emotional to to wrap this saga up. There was a, that great photo of the three of you guys that circulated. We saw it again today. What what can you tell us about that that moment when that photo was captured and what was going on there? Well, that was that was towards the end of filming in the desert. We still had a bit to go uh, back in London, and I, th I just think that's just a it's a an example of how close we got and how much we genuinely love each other. And and uh, want, for me one of the great things about this film is that I got to work so much more with John Boyega and I just really love him deeply as a person and uh, and so I think that comes across you know and it will come across in the film who cried the hardest I mean I, I shed some I shed some hard tears but uh, you know but we were there to comfort each other so that was fine I think you, you could you could the word I keep hearing about this trailer is chills it gave everybody it gave mm. everybody chills as a, as a proper Star Wars trailer should mm -hmm. um, the one moment I wanted to ask you about though that jump what, yeah. what, what can you tell us about this uh, I'm just gonna assume that was all practical and that was actually you junk you jump oh it was practical it was practical uh, what I can say is Eunice who was mentioned on the panel and her team of um, stunt guys and riggers are amazing so I was able to do things that were really really cool um, yeah but everything was practical in the film this had to be I, I imagine so emotional so bittersweet mm -hmm. to wrap up um, there was that great photo that circulated with it with the three of you we saw it again today uh, what can you tell us about, about that that moment that you guys well, had that on was set? literally just a random moment in the desert that wasn't when we wrapped that's how much we love each other um, the day of rap we were in London and John rapped just before me and it was I was a hot mess because it's like it's like you know the character and everything it's but like the group of people that I've been able to work with were so lucky. Like I said to them this morning, imagine if we all didn't like each other, but also the crew is so wonderful. It's like saying goodbye to 
like seven months working with people every single day for such a long amount of time. That was actually what I found the hardest. Who cried the hardest? Me. Oh my God. I can't, I can't remember a lot of it. I literally can't remember a lot of it. Just wailing. Somebody finally admits it. Thank you, Daisy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm all for that. Literally, there, there's like a blur. JJ said some words about me. I was like, it's so sweet, I can't hear them. And then I said something and kept going, I'm so sorry, everyone. Can't remember it. How did you feel watching that trailer? I felt good. I felt good. We all just worked really hard. And uh, to see it realized like that is, is awesome. You've responded when you heard Palpatine was coming back. I was very excited. I was very excited about that and actually had a discussion with JJ, a very in-depth nerd discussion. Um, I'm, I'm always devil as, a devil's advocate. I come on set and challenge all the, all the narrative de decisions because I always, yeah. I think like the fans, um, well, some of the fans. And so for me, I just wanted to have a discussion about it. It was really, really cool. But I'm so excited for him. that like, He's my favorite like villain. I love him. Did you challenge him on Palpatine? Well, we had a discussion about it. I was just like, Palpatine? How do, wait, how, how? How? How does that work? And he, he explained it to me and I was like, okay, JJ. Yeah. Okay. Mind, mind a little bit blown? Listen, mind blown. Yeah. Mind blown. The guy's a genius. Yeah. Uh, it had to be so so bittersweet, so emotional to wrap this up. I was just talking to Daisy and Oscar about that photo that circulated of, yeah. of the three of you. Mm -hmm. I think people assume that that was like the last day. She, yeah, that no, was just no. an ordinary moment. But an ordinary moment just goes to show, like every day just felt emotional. I guess there was a sense throughout the whole film that this was the this was the last one. Mm -hmm. And so I guess you know we we'd hug each other after a long day when it was we we struggled and it, and it, and we achieved a lot. That's one of the moments where you would see us where we'd just be like, yeah, we've done a good job. Who cried the hardest? I, th I think I think it was either it's gonna be between me and Daisy for yeah. sure. Okay. It's gonna be okay. between me and Daisy. Yeah. I was bawling. Daisy was claiming the title. I was bawling. I was I was definitely definitely close to her when that. Oh yeah. Congrats. Uh, this is a a, a nice get. I, I, th good. I think I think this is a good one, guys. Pretty, I think it's gonna I, I think, think it's gonna do something. I think it's gonna like you know, shift a little thing. Yeah, yeah. Just maybe a little bit. <laughs> uh, what what is what is everything you're allowed to tell us about about Jana? Her name is Jana. Yes. <laughs> hey, wow, you went way deeper than I thought with that. Yeah. And she's and she's Lando's daughter. No, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Uh, how surreal has this experience been for you? Crazy surreal and very vivid. It's like, it's like one of those moments in time, you know, with do you have a different experience in life where you just know, oh, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. And I, I feel like the last year has had so many. I've been blessed with so many of those moments um, that it continues to, to amaze and gift me. So... Take us through the, the communal experience we all just had watching that trailer. I know you guys got a sneak peek, but it was uh, it had to be special today. It was special today, and like we <laughs> we were like on the floor with the fans, like on their level, like just enjoying it, just feeling like a normal cinema watcher, you know. And I think that that was it was joyful. It was absolutely joyful.